Well, everybody, we are officially back in Albany. We are back at my house. Um, and there's Charlie. There's Charlie. Gotta love Charlie. He misses me. Yeah, he was he was meowing like crazy when I entered the door. Yeah, and Kitty, I could say the same thing for Kitty, kinda. Except she wasn't as crazy, but yeah, it's currently if we could focus. It's currently 10:27 p.m. right now. Yeah, I just got back like uh, 30 minutes ago. And I'm just exhausted right now. Like, literally, my back is hurting. My feet are hurting. My legs are hurting. Everything is hurting because of today. Like, literally, I was just everywhere. Like, literally, it went, like, literally, I woke up and then I started packing everything up to go back to Albany. And then I had to get all my radios out for the weekly test. I was able to get. I was successfully able to get the weekly test from uh, Upton, Boston, and Albany. Uh, the videos will be uploaded soon. But for right now, I am currently charging both of my phones because they did both die. So unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, they died as we were about to leave Rhode Island. Yes, guys, we went to Rhode Island, in case you guys didn't know, on the last day. We went to... We ended up going to uh, Kent County, Rhode Island. We went. We were in Warwick, Rhode Island. We went to the beach over there. We went to Conemacut Beach or whatever, uh, whatever it's called. And I ended up getting a couple new stations from there. I got KHB 35 from Boston and KEC 73 from Hyannis. Yeah, believe it or not, I actually got KEC 73 through WXL 93. Which was unbelievable. It was it was amazing. So I'm not too sure if I I'm not too sure if that's all of Boston. Actually, no. There is still a WNG five seven four from Gloucester. I still have to get that Boston station. But the problem is, it's all the way out in Essex County. It's literally all the way out in far eastern Essex County. Yeah, it's really far away. So that station. We'll definitely have to wait for God who knows how long now because we're back in Albany and I mean I tried my best. I tried my absolute hardest to get WNG five seven four from the beach, but I just couldn't. The problem was WXJ thirty nine, Providence, Rhode Island, uh, on channel one, it was so strong that it was bleeding through channel two's frequency. I'm not even joking. Like, literally, there's a video of me DXing in Rhode Island. It's up on YouTube right now. Um, there is still a lot of other videos I need to upload. Um, I gotta, I have to upload my uh, video where I went from Albany to Chicopee on a highway. That video is over an hour long. Uh, I also have to upload uh, a couple broadcast cycles I did for uh, WXJ39 and KHB35 from Boston. Um, sadly, I was not able to get the station ID, but I was actually able to get the station ID for WXJ39, so that was pretty cool. Oh, yeah, and the same goes for uh, KEC73 as well. I was not able to get their station ID as well. I tried, but I couldn't. Um, what else? I also have to upload... Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, there's also a couple shorter videos where I just explore around some stores and stuff in uh, Holyoke. I gotta upload those videos. There's also a couple more images I wanna post on my community posts, like, you know, the fish and chips. Uh, I got some, yeah, so after the beach, I decided to go to a restaurant uh, and I got fish and chips. It was pretty good, honestly. And then after that is when I went back to Albany. Yeah, literally, it took forever to get back to Albany. It took like four hours in total. Like it took four hours to get from, to go from Warwick, Rhode Island, all the way back to Albany, New York. Yeah, I'm not even joking. Yeah. It's, it was honestly amazing how 
we literally went from Warwick, Rhode Island, all the way back to Albany, New York. You want to know where, well, I mean, Warwick is in Kent County, Rhode Island. Yeah, it's literally all the way down southeast. That's how far it is. It's literally near the waters. That's literally how far we drove. Yep. We drove. That's why it took four hours. Our car is a beast. But anyways. So, yeah. But anyways, yeah. So, other than that, I don't really have anything else to say. Um, other than, you know, I confirmed a couple stations. Oh, yeah. I also have to update my EAS counter because I did get some EASs while I was in Chicopee, obviously. You know, I got the weekly tests. Successfully was able to get Boston, Upton, and Albany. Sadly, I was not able to get Gray's test on WIG 575, but honestly, it's not the worst thing in the world because I can get WIG 575, but it's like really precise in the uh, front porch. But anyways. So yeah, so that really, so that pretty much wraps up the video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. It was definitely really fun, you know. It, it was definitely fun, uh, you know, going all these places and stuff. And uh, you want to know what sucks? There was a Chicopee, oh my god. There was a Chick-fil-A in Chicopee. It was built, it was in, it was open. The thing was, it was really crowded. Like, it had a long line of cars. Uh, we never got a chance to go in the ch uh, Chick-fil-A. So, sadly, I was not able to try it out, unfortunately. But, luckily, there is a Chick-fil-A that is under construction in this area now. Because, as you guys saw in the, uh, what is it called? The, the Aldi's video, my latest car ride video on July 26th. Well, technically, it was on July 25th, but I, but it didn't upload until after. So, yeah, but anyways. So, that's that. I also, uh... I also went to, uh, Friendly's on, uh... It's like, it's an ice cream place. I went over there on August 4th, the day we arrived at Chicopee. And I had, like, a hot fudge sundae. It was pretty cool. Uh, I also had a cheeseburger and french fries. Like, I'm sure you guys are getting hungry by this, but... And, uh, the next day I went to Applebee's, and that was pretty cool. I got, you know, cheeseburger and french fries again. I just love cheeseburger and french fries. It's just, it's amazing. Oh, yeah, and I also got Little Caesars. Gotta love Little Caesars and their pepperoni pizzas and breadsticks. Gotta love them. Um, and, uh, oh, yeah, and on the last day, as we were on the highway, there was a little resting point where we stopped at. There's, a, like, a Gulf gas station. And inside that gas station is a McDonald's. And I went in there and I ended up getting a red slushie and it was amazing. And also you guys may have known by now about the, the blue slushie I had when I was at the mall. And that was amazing. That was pretty good, honestly. And they also have like a, 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 a like an elevator you can see through. Amazing. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, but... So yeah, that's pretty much about it. Unfortunately, both of my phones did die uh, as we were leaving Rhode Island. So unfortunately, I do not have a video of us going back to Albany. Sucks, but I mean, what can you do? Luckily, I do have a whole video of me going from Albany to Chicopee, but not going from Rhode Island back to Albany. But I mean, we got back to Albany by like nine o'clock. So it was like already dark and stuff like that. And, and by like the end, you probably wouldn't really see much anyways, but yeah. But still though, it's pretty cool. All right, guys, I'm going to end it here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to get, I'm going to get both of these phones charging. I'm going to edit my videos and upload them as quickly as I can upload as much as possible. And, uh, yeah. Oh yeah. And also... Another thing that I'll show you guys real quick is I'm going to go back into my room because I do want to show you guys something, something that is truly amazing. If we go to my recom, 
So you may notice there's the weekly test from this morning that I got on WXM68 and WWF48, as well as Upton in Boston. But look at this. You see this severe thunderstorm warning and watch? August 5th. August 5th. Albany finally fixed the glitch of Tower Things Out! They finally fixed the glitch after like two weeks. Two weeks, or maybe a week and a half, I don't know. But Albany fixed the glitch. Severe thunderstorm watch, severe thunderstorm warning. So I definitely did miss a severe thunderstorm watch and severe thunderstorm warning on my radios in here. But honestly, I don't really care about that because I got a lot more interesting stuff. I literally got a toned out flood watch on WXJ42. That's probably the coolest alert that I've ever gotten ever. See, this is what Albany should do. Albany should also tone out flood watches. Like, come on. Tone them out. Just tone them out. Just, please. All right. I think I'm ready to go now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And yeah. And we are now back in Albany. As we all say in New York, I heart New York. And I heart Albany as well. All right, guys. I'm going to get back to editing. And I'll see you guys later.